So we were out for a ride a night or two ago, just looking around, exploring, taking in the sights, and uh, we came across this place where they'd put in a new house, and when they run the new power line up to the new house, the power company came in there and cut down a bunch of trees on either side. It just looks awful where they laid down hundreds of trees. But uh, anyway, so we got to looking around, and there it was uh, quite a few good pieces of carbon wood in that pile of laid over trees. So we knocked on quite a few doors and eventually found the uh, person who owned the property, and he didn't actually know what we were talking about because he, <laughs> he lived a little bit down the road, which was kind of funny. So eventually he was like, well, I don't know, but yeah, it sounds like you can have them if you want them. And uh, so he said he would go take a look the next day. He went and took a look, called us back, and, and so was surprised how many trees they cut down on his property without even saying anything. Total disaster. But uh, anyways, long story short, he said come and get whatever we wanted. So that's where we're off today is to go uh, dig through that pile and, and get some carving wood. All right. made a stop here before we get too far out to the open road which is never very open around here it's dirt the whole way but there's this nice little spring you can see back there so we're gonna stop and grab a nice cold drink All right, after a nice little drink from the spring, we're gonna have to go ahead and get serious about making some miles here, because uh, it's a good ways around there to where we're gonna be cutting the wood. Probably about an hour plus, hour and a half. That's a little bit of a tractor ride. Nice dirt road the whole way though, and there's plenty of views and nice little creeks we can stop and rest up and take a swim, rinse off, and chill out in the shade for a bit, so. I guess we better get to it. underway here for a little bit and uh, started having some sort of ignition problem so kind of broke down here we're gonna see what the deal is look into a couple things but not a bad place to be broke down I don't know if you can see behind me a view goes on forever out through there nice look around so we're lucky to be here in a good shady spot because it's kind of warm out All right, so we've taken the distributor off here. And you can see right here on the points, our little breaker. You can see a lot of like corrosive spark action has been happening right around that. So that's definitely where the issue is coming from right there. This is, this eight end that we have here is uh, a 48. So it has the front mount distributor. And uh, a lot of people talk really negatively about these because they say that they're hard to reach, and they are if you try to reach them where they're at, but it's two bolts, bam, it's in your hand, you can reach it really easy. So I actually prefer the front mount distributor as opposed to the side mount distributor. All right, we're gonna take a look at this and uh, see if we can't fix it. All right, so you can see that gap right there that's on that breaker. You can see the gap I have set. It's supposed to be, I don't remember exactly, but all the old timers say the thickness of like a matchbook or a business card. And so we cleaned those contacts right there and reset that gap to roughly what we think is close to 
the thickness of a business card. And I think, I think we're going to be pretty good off. We're going to put it back on and see if it works. I think uh, we might be all right here. What we did is we pulled the distributor out, cleaned the contact points as you saw there, and uh, a couple other connections that looked a little sketchy. The best thing you can do for an old tractor is to never leave it outside in the rain, ever. Especially a gas tractor. Like the, the ignition system on these old gas tractors is so touchy. You have to keep them inside in the dry. So uh, anyways, yeah, let's see if this sucker will start up. So that was a good long tractor ride there. Had a little bit of a delay with the breakdown, but not too bad. Got underway pretty quick. So we just got here. I'll pan around here and you can kind of see there's a lot of damage here. A lot of trees taken down. So uh, the uh, back there in the back you can see up there, that's actually the landowner talking to the power company. And the landowner is pretty disappointed that they just came in and did this without even really discussing this with him, which I think they definitely should have discussed this with him, because this is a, a huge mess. I'd be pretty upset too if I was the landowner. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get our saws going here and get some of this wood. I'll pan around again and you can see right there is a big sycamore log, and that's a, ni that's a nice piece of wood. And uh, on around a little bit there's a there's a nice big walnut log right there so there is some good carving wood here we'll be able to get something out of it and uh, still feel bad for the landowner though but we're gonna get at it Just like prayers Like gospel hymns that you called in the air Come down, come down, see reverence Unto my simple house and rain And rain
it up you can see right there we got a pretty good load but if you look back in the background we didn't even touch it there's so much here we'll probably come back and get a couple more loads anyways we got a good little drive before we get home so we're gonna go ahead and make for the house Wait 
be somewhere in between I'm a ghost to you, you're a ghost to me Birds have you, Sam so we stopped by the landowner here to uh, where we were cutting the logs. We stopped by his place to drop him off a spoon that we had carved and to thank him for the wood. And to see if he had an air compressor to pump up these trailer tires because <laughs> they are super low and we got a long ways to go. So yeah, so we're lucky enough to run into him and, and he went out to get another truck that he had his air compressor put into. So we'll be right along. We'll pump this sucker up and get back on the road. So we aired up the tires and had a nice little visit. We talked about this and a little bit about that. All in all, really nice folks. Glad to meet them and glad to have them as neighbors. But it was growing late in the day and we had a lot of miles ahead of us. So sadly enough, we had to say goodbye and get back out on the open road. So we've been rolling for a while now and uh, stopped to stretch our legs here for a minute. We still got a little bit to go. Plus, I think we found a really good mushroom over here, so we're gonna grab that before we go home. Stopped here to stretch our legs again and take a drink from the spring. Nice ice cold. Spring water, can't beat it. And we scored some mushrooms on the way home. Let's take a look. Some lion's mane and a morel. Looks good. Well, we're pretty much going to call it a day, head back to the house and cook those suckers up. <laughs>